Good morning, first grade. Today, we have a very special math lesson. Let's continue learning about penguins. First, I want you to sing this song with me because we get so excited when it's math time. It's math. It's math. M-A-T-H. Woo! It's math. It's math. It's math. M-A-T-H. Woo! It's math my friends now today we are going to be practicing modeling word problems with our handy dandy number rack okay modeling word problems with our handy dandy number rack first things first the materials that you will need for this lesson one number rack one piece of paper and a pencil if you have a whiteboard and a marker even better. My friends, I want you to take a look at this picture. Take a second to look, think, and observe. What do you notice about the penguins? Uh-huh. If you said that you noticed that some penguins are on the ice and others are in the water, you are correct. Ding, ding, ding. What else do you notice about the penguins? If you said you noticed that there are seven on the ice and five in the water, you got it right. Ding, ding, ding. If you didn't, take one second, pause the video, and count the amount of penguins that are on the ice, then count the amount that are in the water. Amazing. Now, I want you to use your number rack to model the image that you see in the book. Use your number rack to model the image that you see in the book. You can use your beads on top. To represent the penguins on the land. And your beads on the bottom to represent the penguins in the water. Slide your beads and make sure that it matches. Remember, when we start. We start with our white to the right. Now, if your number rack looks like this, seven on the top and five on the bottom, it matches the picture. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On the top, one, two, three, four, five on the bottom. Now, we're in first grade, and we like to count the fast way. Check it. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, plus one, two, three, four, five, makes ten, eleven, twelve. We know that this is five, plus two is seven, and we know that this is five on the bottom. Try it. Now look at the penguins. How many more penguins are on the ice than in the water? How many more penguins are on the ice than in the water? If you need to take a look at your number rack, you can. Please pause the video while you think. When you have the answer, unpause the video or press play. Awesome. Now if your number rack looks like this, you wanna see five, six, seven on the top and five on the bottom. How many more are at the top than at the bottom? I can take my pencil or pen and separate the extra. These are the same. These are the 
and these are the extra. These are the awesome. So how many more penguins are on the top than at the bottom? Check for your number on your number rack. If you said that there were two more on the top than on the bottom, you were right. If your number rack looks like this, then you can see some of the equations in here that will help us find out how many more are at the top than at the bottom. 5 plus 2 equals 7. 2 is our answer. Or 7 at the top, take away the 2 extra, give us the same. We have 5 plus the 2 extra equals 7. Or we have the 7 take away the 2 extra equals the 5. Please write down those two equations. 5 plus 2 equals 7. And 7 take away 2 equals 5. When you write it down on your paper, please show it to me. Excellent job. Now, 2 is our answer because there are two more penguins on the top than on the bottom. Now, let me ask you, how many more penguins need to be on the bottom so that we can have the same as the ones on the top? How many more? If you said two more, give me a high five. Boom! Now, my final question, I want to know how many penguins do we have in all? How many penguins do we have in all? You can count by ones. Or you can count on, starting with five. Maybe you see a doubles fact. How many penguins in all? If you said 5, 10, 11, 12, 12 penguins, you are correct. Double check and count the penguins on the screen. Next question. Look at the second set of penguin. Count how many are on the top. How many are on the bottom? You may pause the video and count. My next question, how many more penguins are in the water than on the ice? How many more penguins are in the water than on the ice? Set up your number rack like the picture and find the extra to determine how many more. If you set your number rack up like this, great job. I see five, six, seven, eight penguins on the ice, five, 10 penguins in the water. Now I want to know how many more penguins are in the water than on the ice. How many more? See if you can use your pencil to find the extra. If you said that there were two extra or two more penguins in the water, you were right. Let's take a look. Right down here, find the extra two more on the bottom than on the top. What would that equation be? Ten take away two equals eight. Eight here, eight here, all have buddies. Or Eight plus two equals ten. Remember the two. That is the answer we're looking for. Two more on the bottom. Please write those equations on your whiteboard or your piece of paper. Eight plus two equals ten. Ten take away two 
equals eight. After you write those questions, double check that they are true using your number rack. Now we know that there are two more penguins on the ice. I'm very sorry. We know that there are two more penguins on the bottom in the water than on top in the ice. So how many more penguins would we need on the ice to match the amount of penguins on the bottom? If you said two more, you're right. The challenge, bring it on. Your turn, I have a challenge. Now I'm gonna show you the last couple of problems. I want you to figure out how to solve it on your number rack your own. If you figure it out, you may take a picture of your number rack and send it to your teacher or upload it into your class dojo portfolio. The first question, take a look at the penguins. There are four penguins swimming in the water. Six more are hiding behind the ice. How many penguins are there in all? Pause the video, use your number rack, and solve for the total. For the last problem. I can't hear you. Are you ready for the last problem? Listen carefully. Nine penguins are standing on the ice. There are six more penguins standing on the ice than there are swimming in the water. How many penguins are in the water? Nine penguins are standing on the ice. Remember, there are six more on the ice than there are on the water. This means there's six less in the water than the nine on the ice. What's six less than nine? After you determine that, count how many there are in total. Wow, mathematicians, you did an excellent job today. Mr. Groom is always so excited when you use your number rack to check your work and find an accurate answer. Let's celebrate with a little bit of my favorite chair, the McDonald's chair. It goes like this. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. Chicken nuggets. Let's try it together. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. Chicken nuggets. Now, at the end of the math lesson, I want you to do as many jumping jacks as you can. You must count every single jumping jack. When you do your jumping jacks and count as far as you can, send the video to your teacher on Class Dojo. It's a challenge. Great job today, guys.